Hello, today I'm reviewing Silas Marner by George Eliot. And so, first off, this is AR Book, Accelerated Reader website, puts this at 9.7. So that's ninth grade, seventh month. The average ninth grader in the seventh month of their ninth grade year should be able to read this book. So just so you know, that's where that's put and I would I would agree it's about a high school level I have done this book with junior high kids some higher level eighth grade kids and but uh, that would have been like an honors eighth grade book so just so you know the level the my overall impression of the book is I, I really love this book I find it a very tender loving just simple story and the, the basic story is Silas Marner learns to love. And we, I'll give you kind of the first part of the story, is he is part of this rather austere, Puritan, Calvinistic Christianity. That if, and for those of you who've had me teach you Calvinism, Calvinism, one of the, the the, the outcroppings of Calvinistic theology is this this rather strange idea that if it's pleasurable, it's probably sinful. And that's that's kind of a simplification of it, and yet that is exactly what oftentimes happens. Is, is And there's, there's a kind of a condemnation of other people for, for their sinful actions that, that oftentimes results in people being ostracized. And it's a very humorless and what I would call rather unloving view of God and what he wants from his, from his people. So very similar to, you know, this is not the first book to present that. If you've read the Scarlet Letter, you've got, it's the same idea. And Silas, he, he's, he's, he's living in this community and he, uh, he gets wrongfully accused of, of stealing, if I remember right, it was stealing. And, you know, he didn't do it, but he, he is condemned for that. And he rejects love and he rejects humans out of this because he put so much trust in the people. And then these people rejected him. So he ends up leaving and coming to this tiny little town all by himself. Law and you know he's 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 on the side of the town and people kind of see him as this kind of weird humorless recluse. Well, through happenings from other people in the town that I won't you know we won't go into of it. You'll read the book and you'll find out. He comes across a young young child who's on the ground, lying in 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 the, in the ground who's been abandoned, and eventually. He, he, well, not eventually, he, he immediately takes to her, picks her up. Or that's right, he finds, uh, if I remember right now, it's he finds the mother. The mother has died, and she's been, um, she's been, she's, she's got a, she's, she died in shame, and she has this two-year-old daughter out of wedlock, and she was, uh, she was addicted to opium. And so she dies, and um, so he, he finds this two-year-old girl and takes her in and eventually adopts her, adopts her and learns to love and becomes a, and through this love of this child, he regains his hope in humanity. He connects with people again. And it's just, it's a heartwarming story. I, I, I recommend it to anybody and all, both boys and girls. It's a, it's it's very similar to say Les Misérables without all of the action and the drama and all, but the very simple story of a of a man who learns to love by adopt when he when he when he when it's thrust upon him to adopt a child. It's great book. the The content is wonderful. It's it's on several of the great books lists, at least two of them, and I yeah recommend it to everybody. Beautiful story. I don't want to tell much more. There isn't actually much more to tell. It's just got some great language. It'll, it's, it's an edifying book with, that, with, with a, that, that if you are in the right mood and you're in the right disposition, it should just, one of those books that just makes you a better person. All right, so Silas Marner, highly recommend it. Enjoy the book.